resolved in preparation for our retreat. Everything is ready and you need to get yourself ready. Because this is going to be a wonderful time for you, for me, for everyone, for the whole church. In Jesus' name. You close your eyes. You will not think of any other thing, any other person. You think about the provision of the Lord. And you think about the great, great riches and told that the Lord himself has prepared for you. Open your mouth now. You begin to tell the Lord that the Lord himself that will pour upon your life everything he has for you. Everything you know that you need. Everything that God knows that you need. Everything in heaven provided for you by the Lord. That this will be a special time of visitation. A special time of revelation. A special time of outpouring. A special time of blessing. For you. For your family. For your friends. For everyone at the retreat. That the dry land will receive rain from heaven. That the wilderness will blossom. That the fruitless will become fruitful. That your ground will become fertile. Productive. Pray that this retreat for you will be number one, different. That God will turn. All the channels that flow with blessing, your direction. That the needs of many years, yet unfulfilled, will receive fulfillment in this retreat for your life. hindrance taken out of your way every weakness turned unto strength every need supplied is spectacular coming into your life is supernatural Coming into your life. Impossibilities becoming possible. God's wonder working power beginning to work in your life from tonight. No shame anymore. No sorrow anymore. No sickness anymore. No attack, no oppression anymore. A new day. 
a new time. A new was born in your life. Great answers to all your prayers. Protection, provision, preservation, all your desires, a special time in the presence of the Almighty God. That God will look upon you with favor, with mercy, that heaven will answer yes. For your request, where man has said no, that heaven will answer yes. And as God speaks to you, that you will respond the way heaven expects. So doubt from your mind. Believe, and it is until you are ready according to that faith. You came to tell God. What your needs are, and God comes down in mighty, irresistible power to respond to all your needs, all your requests. That it's done. Believe. It's done. Confess. It's done. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Almighty God will bless your name. You have brought us in here for a purpose. And we know that purpose will be fulfilled. Yeah. Lord, we pray for everyone. From all our leaders to all our members and our workers. To all
the people here at the headquarters and all the other locations where we're listening to the word and sharing it together. Every region, in every stage in this country, in every nation in this continent of Africa, in the United Kingdom, in Britain, From this night, open the windows of heaven. Pour the abundance upon your people. We receive it, Lord. We accept it, Lord. It belongs to us right now. Every moment of this retreat will be a moment of blessing. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. You can be seated. We thank the Lord who has brought us to this retreat. And we glorify the name of the Lord for the journey mercies He has granted you and granted us. And we are here together. This retreat will be a wonderful retreat. A power patch retreat. And the blessings of God will overflow in every life in Jesus' name. For those of us on all the other receiving locations in this country, in Nigeria, in our continent, in Africa, I want to assure you that this is going to be a retreat we'll never forget. The blessings of God will so much be poured out abundantly that we'll never forget what we get in this retreat in Jesus' name. I pray it will be so for you. It will be so for all of us. We're looking at the word of God tonight. We're looking at the word that tells us about the inexhaustible well. You know what a well is? A well is what we have dug so we can get water and water is so very important for life and that indispensable blessing that the well contains it will not just come to us except we draw it out that's why we're talking about drawing from heaven's inexhaustible well drawing it out taking it out and we're looking at Isaiah chapter 12 Isaiah chapter 12 reading from verse 2 behold God is my salvation I will trust and not be afraid for the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song he also is become my salvation 
Therefore, with joy, shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. Listen to that again. Verse 3, it says, Therefore, because God is the ever-present God, a God of provision, a God of blessing, a God of all power, a God of all possibilities, a God that did wonderful things in the past and is doing wonderful things today and will continue to do marvelously wonderful things in the future. A God that never changes. He says, therefore, because of the kind of God we serve, a God who performs everything that he promises according to his power, irresistible power, a kind of power that no one can hinder, and that power will work in your life. He says, because of the kind of God we serve, Therefore, in verse 3, with joy, not with sorrow, not with sadness, not with regret, not with doubt, not with unbelief, not with uncertainty. You know, there are people that feel, I don't know whether I'll get or not. When you come to the well of heaven's inexhaustible provision, you don't come with doubt or unbelief. It says, because we know who God is, and because we know what God has done, and it's a God that changes not. It says, therefore, with joy, with certainty, with happiness, and with assurance, with joy, shall ye draw water. Shall ye draw the water is there? You come with your empty vessel, and then you make up your mind, you will draw. And it personalizes it. It says, You. That means then, as you listen to every message, and as you come from early morning to late at night. And then you bring your empty vessels, you as an individual, it says, and ye shall draw water out of the wells of salvation. You see well there in the plural, which means then that whatever it is you need, the provision of salvation and of healing and of deliverance, and of fruitfulness, and of success, and of sanctification, and of holiness, and of power, and whatever it is, wells of salvation, sufficient for every need. He says, and in that day, this is my day. I said, this is my day. In that day shall you stay. Praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people, make mention of his name, because his name is exalted. And then it was I sing unto the Lord, for he has done excellent things, he will do excellent things in our lives things you'll be able to testify about, things you'll be able to talk about, things you'll be able to share with other people, and then you'll say, I was there. I went to that special retreat. I was with the people of God, and God has done excellent, marvelous, wonderful things for me. Because of that, I testify. Because of that, I rejoice. Because of that, I sing. Sing unto the Lord. For he has done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. The manifestation of God's power will be known in all the earth, in all our retreats.
I said everywhere this power will be known in Jesus' name. In verse 6, cry out and shout. Thou inhabitants of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. Our God is here. And great is that Holy One in the midst of the people of God. In Isaiah chapter 55, Isaiah chapter 55, I'm reading from verse 1. Oh, everyone that thirsted, are you thirsty? The Lord will satisfy that thirst. He will satisfy every desire. He will satisfy every hunger. Oh, everyone that thirsteth. You know, when people are thirsty and they get to the well, they drop in their pocket and they draw out. They do not allow any other thing to arrest their attention. The only thing they watch because of the thirst, because of the hunger, because of the desire, because of their expectation, the only thing they want is what they focus on. And if you are really thirsty, if there is a blessing you desire very much, what you will focus on will be what you came for. You will not allow anything, whatever, to sway you. Or to let you go astray, you will focus, you will put your mind, your heart on what you have come for. Oh, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. He that has no money, come ye by and eat. Ye come by wine and milk without money and without price. Somebody else paid the price. The Lord Jesus Christ paid the price for you and for me. Everything you will ever need, the Lord has paid the price. Now you can come. And you can come believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. And those needs of your heart, of your life, they will be satisfied in Jesus' name. Wherefore do you spend your money for that which is not bread and or your labor? For that which satisfies not, hearken diligently unto me, and eat, and ye and, and ye, ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Let your soul delight itself, not in scarcity, not in poverty, not in famine. You know there are people that get adjusted to need and scarcity and farming. There are people that get adjusted to problem. And they say, well, I will tolerate it. I will endure it. Their soul, their lives in farming, in problem. And they get used to their sickness. They get used to their problem. That they just say, I delight. I take joy. I will just endure. I will tolerate whatever comes my way but the lord is saying if you're going to draw out 